If you've bought a home in the last year and a half or so at these higher rates, when rates drop, I want you to focus on two things. Number one, and it's a big one, credit scores. For conventional loans especially, it's vital to your success. If at all possible, do not open new credit cards and take on credit card debt. Don't open an equity loan unless you have to. Let's use an example. The difference between 719 and 761, they're both great scores. But the difference can be between you paying all of the thousands of dollars of closing costs or the lender paying it for you. And then when you bring in mortgage insurance, the difference in the cost is very significant. On a three or $400,000 loan, it can be over $100 a month. Make it a goal over the next six to 12 months to make sure you keep your scores as high as possible. Because when the right time comes, I want you to be at your strongest. Number two, the appraisal. The value of your home is also key. You want to have that appraisal value as high as you can get it. If you put a minimal down payment, going from 5% equity to 10% equity, or 10 to 20, can be a massive difference and additional savings to what you're already saving with the rate drop. Because here's the thing, if rates do fall, prices will go up. Now, how do you give yourself the opportunity to get the highest appraisal possible? Well, I've got some tips and tricks and some suggestions, but you'll have to call me on that one.